step into the future where clean energy takes center stage like never before. In 2043, a groundbreaking innovation is poised to transform the way we generate power. Welcome to the world of the omnidirectional wind turbine, a revolution that promises to harness the wind's energy from any angle, paving the way for a more sustainable tomorrow. Before we dive into the remarkable world of the omnidirectional wind turbine, make sure to hit that like button if you're ready to embrace a greener, more sustainable future. And don't forget to subscribe to stay updated on the latest innovations shaping our world. Now let's embark on this incredible journey of clean energy transformation. Imagine a world where the wind never stops working for us and where energy flows effortlessly from every direction. In 2043, we'll have unlocked the secret to capturing the full potential of the wind. Join us on an exciting journey to discover how the omnidirectional wind turbine is reshaping the future of energy, turning the unpredictable into the unstoppable. From small-scale installations to sprawling wind farms that seem to be cropping up at an astonishing rate, the world of wind energy is in constant evolution. One design is the conventional model favored by most turbines, but this isn't necessarily the best way forward. Though it may seem prudent to stick with a tried and tested design, the notion of a single universal design being the pinnacle of achievement restricts progress and curtails innovation. In the quest for improved wind turbine performance, a revolutionary concept emerged, the axial flux generator. This innovative design features two rotors positioned closely together, with a quarter of the rotor diameter separating them. The results have been nothing short of astounding, surpassing the performance gains achieved through conventional means, such as increasing the number of blades on a single rotor. However, with every engineering breakthrough comes a new set of challenges. And in the case of axial flux generators, safety concerns related to rapidly spinning blades persist. The resulting performance improvement is remarkable, surpassing that achieved by merely increasing the number of blades on a single rotor. However, with each engineering breakthrough, new challenges arise. In the case of axial flux generators, safety concerns related to the rapidly spinning blades persist. The most innovative ideas in the field of invention sometimes come from unexpected places. This is applied to the ball turbine. This unique wind turbine design was inspired by an accidental meeting with a child's toy discovered at a local grocery. What made this toy interesting was its behavior when put on a floating bearing. It demonstrated an unexpected elegance in motion. This unexpected finding generated the concept that would ultimately lead to the invention of the ball turbine. The journey from inspiration to innovation was marked by meticulous design and cutting-edge technology. The ball turbine's components are carefully crafted, each serving a vital role in its operation. Let's examine the main parts of the ball turbine. Auton 1 Rotor At its core, the ball turbine boasts a rotor consisting of two identical parts. Each part houses 18 neodymium magnets, meticulously arranged in a north-south configuration. 2. Stator the stator, a critical element, houses a serpentine coil. This coil plays a pivotal role in the turbine's energy conversion process and ensures efficient performance. 3. Cap To safeguard its internal components from the elements, the ball turbine is equipped with a small, protective cap. This simple addition enhances the turbine's durability and longevity. The assembly of the ball turbine is a testament to its simplicity and accessibility. By following these straightforward steps, anyone can construct a functional ball turbine. Neodymium magnets, like tiny powerhouses, are placed within the rotor, each with its own north-south orientation. Let's now discuss the stator. The actual magic takes place here. The helical coil is firmly connected to the rotor, making an electric dance with the magnetic field. To keep everything secure from the weather, a tiny cap is sealed onto the stator shielding those magnets and coils like a shield. Smoothness is essential, which is where these 4mm by 6mm ball bearings come in. Two of them are tightly placed into the rotor components. The rotor assembly is last but not least. A 6mm bar links the rotor sections, letting them spin in perfect harmony and absorbing wind energy smoothly. The ball turbine relies on a fascinating principle, Bernoulli's principle, to make its mechanism work. 
Its vents have large entrances but smaller exits, creating different pressures inside when the wind enters. This pressure difference causes the turbine to move. The vents cloak the sphere's structure, making the turbine receptive to all directions. Unlike conventional turbines that require precise wind alignment, the ball turbine can capture wind energy from any angle. This versatility ensures consistent energy generation, even in areas with unpredictable or variable wind patterns. With the ball turbine completely built, it's time to observe its genius in action. The unusual design of this turbine enables it to catch wind energy effectively from practically any direction. As the wind blows, the rotor assembly starts to spin, a beautiful dance between magnets and coils. This attractive, unique design provides numerous significant benefits over regular wind turbines. Omnidirectionality The ball turbine can harness wind energy from any direction in contrast to conventional turbines that need exact wind alignment. This adaptability guarantees steady energy output, even in places with uncertain or changing wind patterns. Compact design, the ball. Turbine's tiny size is a game changer, particularly in urban contexts where space restrictions sometimes limit the installation of standard turbines. This brings up new opportunities for renewable energy production in highly populated places. Wildlife protection. Due to their huge rotating blades, Conventional wind turbines represent a serious threat to all types of wildlife, especially birds and bats. These animals may be harmed or perhaps killed if they collide with these blades. A safer option is the ball turbine, which has an unusual design. Its smaller size and absence of visible blades make it less likely to pose harm to animals, adding to biodiversity conservation efforts. Despite the ball turbine's potential as a replacement for conventional wind turbine designs, it's important to recognize both its limits and the special advantages it delivers. Energy Output One of the notable limitations of the ball turbine is its potential to generate less energy compared to larger, conventional turbines. This discrepancy arises from differences in size and capacity between the two designs. While the ball turbine excels in versatility and space efficiency, it may not be suitable for applications where maximizing energy production is the primary goal. We'll delve into a head-to-head -head comparison between the ball turbine and traditional wind turbines to see how this revolutionary design stacks up. One of the biggest changes lies in how these blades handle the wind's direction. Traditional turbines are picky. To perform successfully, they must face the wind directly. Enter the ball turbine with its ace in the hole, omnidirectionality. It can capture wind energy from any angle, making it a versatile player in unpredictable wind conditions. The effectiveness of space is yet another game-changer. Traditional turbines need a lot of elbow space, with significant spacing between them to minimize interference. But the ball turbine? It's a space-saving marvel. Its compact design opens up possibilities in urban areas and places where space is at a premium. Ah, energy output, the biggest. Traditional windmills are champs in this area. Their huge size means they can put out substantial energy. The ball turbine represents a fascinating innovation in the world of wind energy. Its unique design challenges the conventional wisdom that one universal design is inherently superior. Instead, it emphasizes the importance of experimentation and adaptation to specific environments and needs. As we continue to explore new possibilities, we may discover innovative solutions that outperform our current best designs. The ball turbine reminds us that progress is driven by curiosity, experimentation, and a willingness to push the boundaries of what we know. In the pursuit of cleaner and more sustainable energy sources, such innovations are invaluable.